Here we are, limiting reactant practice number three. Remember, you're trying to solve this first, then you watch my explanation. So we have the same equation we looked at in practice number two, only this time we are going from grams to grams. So a little bit longer of a process. So first of all, balanced equation, we have that. Our second step is we have to convert grams of, grams of, and I want to make sure that I, I specify here how much, I want to know how much in grams nitrogen monoxide can you produce. So we have to go from grams to grams. So we take grams of them to grams of our important product. In this case, read the question, how much NO can you produce? So we're looking at nitrogen monoxide this time, not water. So we're just focused on this one right here because that's what it gives us in the problem. So it's always a good first step. When you're reading the problem, you can go ahead and identify the important information. We underlined 34 grams NH3, 32 grams of O2, and then I also underlined nitrogen monoxide. So we know that's the product that we are dealing with. So first, I take down my first given, my reactant, because we have to convert our reactants to products. So we have 34 grams NH3, and we want to convert that to grams of nitrogen monoxide. So a little bit longer of a dimension, certainly doable. So I set that up. 34 grams NH3. First, I have to know the molar mass of NH3. We're going from grams to moles. That's from your pink sheet, 17 grams NH3. That is the molar mass of NH3, 1N plus 3Hs, is equal to one mole NH3. My next picket fence, this is where my mole, uh, mole to mole ratio comes in. My mole ratio, so these here, I have to get from my equation itself. So NH3, I have a four in front of it. So I put four mole NH3, four mole NH3 is equal to, remember, so it's equal to four mole NO. Then I have to go from moles of NO into grams of NO. So I put one mole, one mole NO, one mole NO, nitrogen monoxide equals, and then I would put the molar mass of nitrogen monoxide, which is 14 plus 16, which equals 30, 30 grams nitrogen monoxide right there. So we've canceled out grams, whoops, didn't mean to do that, there of NH3, my computer's messing up, canceled out grams of NH3, canceled out moles of NH3, canceled out moles of nitrogen monoxide, and we've arrived all the way at grams of nitrogen monoxide. How did I get there? This was my given from the problem. This is converting my molar mass. This is my mole ratio. I got this, how you convert moles of my product, I get that from, and then moles of product into grams of product. So now I just multiply straight across and divide. So I have 34 multiplied by four, multiplied by 30 equals 4,080. And I divide that by 17 times 4, you end up with 60. So 34 grams of NH3 will produce nitrogen monoxide. Absolutely not. I have to always do two-dimensional analysis problems. So down here, I have 32 grams of O2 because that is my other reactant, and I have to convert this to grams to figure out which is my limiting reactant. So again... First, you have to convert O2 to moles of O2. You have to do that with the molar mass. The molar mass of O2 is 32 grams because there is two oxygens. Each has a mass of 16, so that equals one mole of O2. Always put your units. That way you don't lose track. So there's my units there. Now I have to use my mole-to-mole -mole ratio. So how many moles of O2 do I have up here? I have five, so I put five mole... O2 right there is equal to my mole to mole ratio. We're going to nitrogen monoxide, so four mole NO. And then the process becomes the exact same as it was up here. So I have one mole of NO, one mole NO is equal to, is equal to 30 grams of NO, 30 grams NO. And we have arrived at grams of product, grams of nitrogen 
monoxide through this amazing dimensional analysis. So now I just multiply straight across and solve for my limiting reactant. So I do 32 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 30 and then I divide that by 32 times 5. I end up with 24. 24, I'm going to put it over here, 24 grams of nitrogen monoxide from my 32 grams of oxygen. So my next step is to determine which is the limiting reactant and how much was actually produced. Well, we always go to the lower number. 24 grams of nitrogen monoxide is produced, and that was produced by my oxygen. Therefore, my O2 is my limiting reactant, and it produced 24 grams of nitrogen monoxide. So that is practice problem number three.